Yeah, I guess we'll start with the chickens. Hey, chicky, chicky, chicky. Here. Beautiful summer day. It's eight o'clock at night. Sun is still very bright in the sky. Out here checking on the garden. Looking at the potatoes, I made some soap water. Looking for potato beetles. And I've been blessed so far. One thing I did notice was we have flowers. And I'm gonna pick those off because I do not want these guys to flower. At least that's what I've been told. So it's been a beautiful hot summer and I've been told you get hot weather potatoes will flower and you can also pick some weeds ah my peas are actually coming up finally so, so I'll go through and instead of picking potato beetles I'm picking off flowers. Try to keep them from budding. Hmm, that's interesting. One leaf. Wonder what's going on. And more beads. Okay, well, garden, obviously. These are my one of six rows. There's my other rows of potatoes. Pumpkins are doing horrible. Yeah, I'll get over there. Onions are looking pretty good. I went through and weeded that row yesterday. It's a little hot and buggy. None of my lettuces are coming up. Two tries. But in a minute, I'll show you something. So get down here. My pumpkins. I transplanted this one from the greenhouse and immediately all the leaves shriveled up. But we have new life coming out of it. I was told in red that yellow leaves mean it's not getting enough water. You get down in here, in a good moist soil, so it is getting water. So, and let's go over here, yes. Hi, chicky chickies. Yes, look at this poor bird. You can kind of see. She was the attention of the rooster who we ate. Just tore her up, but surprisingly enough, she's healing and she's actually laying eggs. So, which is a good thing. Let's go down here. I got the green beans. They're starting to look really good. These are supposed to be bush beans. And guess what? I got a pole bean somehow. <laughs> so I said, I'll give you a pole. And all I did was I laid this up. It always goes in this spiral. If you try to make it to go the other way, you'll actually ruin it. But yesterday, I just kind of laid it here, and then it just started grabbing on. It's amazing. It just knows what to do. And so, yeah, we got a bush bean, or bush bean and one other. So this is my broccoli and weeds. <laughs> so I'll throw the weeds there. They'll just dry up. Yeah, we might as well get some of the grass out of here too. Always pulling up grass after all these years. So, but yeah, they're looking pretty good. Looks like something's eating that guy. Yeah, some broccoli's coming up. These are finally starting to take off. Those tall guys are more sunflowers and weeds. Unfortunately, my wife has not 
then and the weeder. The herb section, or I can say herb. Let's see if I can get a better look at this girl. Yeah, she's running away. It's amazing. Survived. She lifts up her ring. She was like totally bald. Actually had wounds on her. You can see this girl right here. I mean, she kind of got beat up by the rooster as well. Look at her. Yeah. She's a fighter. Jen wanted to put her down, but she proved her point. She's she's actually uh, laying eggs again. So, ooh, radishes. Plant these for my father-in-law. See how they're looking. Eh. They're getting there. They're about mar marble size right now. So we'll let that go. Why was I coming in here? Oh yes. I remember. So last year I had lettuce in here. And look at that. <laughs> I got lettuce again. So you can see this is where I've I dug out the um that big uh, watermelon. And then I got another one there. Another one there. At least I think. No, no, not watermelon. Pumpkins. So, somewhere in here. Hey, look. More lettuce. <laughs> and more lettuce. So, my. This is actually pumpkin or watermelon. I don't know if it's ever going to come up. My single. Cucumber. And of course you can hear in the background Miss Ziggy doing her sounds like she's on a uh, trampoline. So yeah. Look at that. I got some beets coming up. Look at this beet right here. Go for two days and As I weed the garden, I can title this uh, Weeding the Garden with Michael. <laughs> so, haven't been over here much. There we go. Just throw them off, let them die. But this is why I put down the cloth, is I only have a six or eight inch spot to weed. So, the other day, Sunday, Monday, we got some rain, which I think is what really Got some of these things to really shoot up, so it's kind of good. And I got that is yeah. What is that? That is um. God, I always forget what this row is. Got a couple of them coming up. Cabbage. Yeah, and weeds. Well, there's another one. Taking forever for this stuff to come up. So, and one more. One more cabbage. So, I'll probably have to uh, replant. Tomatoes are finally starting to uh, shoot up. Okay. okay, if anybody knows these milkweeds, I've actually started digging them up. There's a root that will be running horizontal. Or, yeah, horizontal underneath. And when you pull it off, you just break it off the main root. How do you get rid of these things besides pulling them up and pulling them up and pulling them up? So, anybody know, please let me know. Put that in the comments because I want to get rid of them. But tomatoes are starting to flourish. And these things are probably doubled in size in the last week. So, I'm. Um, Pretty soon I'll get the uh, stirring. Here's some remnants. <laughs> some of you guys might know where this is from. <laughs> so, yep. It's a pull line from uh, doing electrical. So, that guy's kind of shriveling up there. I wonder what's going on. Alrighty, I figure since I'm out here, I'll share with everybody. Back out here. Yep. See if I can get it in there. One's in the window talking to me. Yeah. <laughs> These are the old girls. Yeah, 
Yep, that's Yeti back over there. He's the best best rooster we've had in a long time. So, alrighty, another garden update. So, like I said, if uh, anybody knows how to get rid of these stupid milkweeds, let me know because I'm getting sick of yanking them out of the ground. So, alrighty, be fruitful, everybody. Plant those gardens. It's never too late to start. Till next time, I'll talk to you later. Prepare mentally, physically, and most definitely spiritually. Times are getting dark. Talk to you later.